What's up, y'all? It's Lisa. I'll be back at it again with a back at it again. But this time, I got a treat for you. This video is a wig installation, wig styling, wig application, all of it. This is the three in one start to finish of how you achieve this look. Shout out to Ali Pearl Hair for sponsoring the kid. Cause we used to clean the bag all 2022. Y'all know we vibes. If y'all see how I achieve this look. Let's keep going. All right, you guys. So once you open up your package, you will find some goodies inside. They sent some lashes, and they also sent me this edge band that like melts your lace. I've never had one of these, and when I tell you this thing is worth it, it's definitely worth it. You cannot tell that I got lace on. It's very much giving scalp. And then they also sent a nice edge scarf, and then they sent a brush and comb set just for you to lay them in. It just child. And then this is the wig I will be reviewing for you all today. This is the Ali Pearl Exclusive Original Blonde Highlight human hair straight wig and i got this wig in 24 inches because you know i had to hit y'all with the bust down and it is a 13 by 4 lace wig and it also is 200 percent density and my cap size is medium and this wig does come with a comb in the back and two combs on the side and it also have the adjustable straps it is a little bit stretchy so if your head just a tad bit big yeah you good all right, y'all, so this is my first time styling a wig straight out the box. You know I want to switch it up this time, so I'm gonna show you uh, how to achieve a nice look straight out of the box. So the first thing I'm gonna do is section the hair off, go ahead and comb it out to make sure we don't have any tangles or anything. Then I'm gonna take my Remington flat irons and just go ahead and do one or two passes per section just to straighten it out. I am gonna curl this wig, but as you all know, I love straightening my wigs before I curl them. Okay, so now I'm gonna give y'all a little tip that I learned. Y'all see how this hair is straight, but it ain't just giving me buzz down, buzz down. So if you really want your hair to be super, super straight, take like some holding spray and still back a little bit. Spray that hair with holding spray. Then come back and flat iron, and I'm telling you, it's very much giving me mink. Stop playing, you see what's going on. And that's basically the same technique that I wanna do across the entire wig. Spray it with holding spray, comb it through, flat iron it, simple. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you all what I do to hide the track. So I do like to just make a part in front of the track in the direction of the track going just from left to right. Comb the hairs down, spray it. And I like to high comb it or take a curling iron just to really make the holding spray sit. And styling the lace front part of the wig is fairly easy. I like to make my part more of a C shape just to, you know what I'm saying, get a little swoop effect going. And then I'm obviously gonna spray it with holding spray, comb it through. And then I'm gonna take my curling iron just to press everything out when i flat iron the lace frontal i like to go in sections just to make sure that everything is flat most people only flat the area where the part is and then wonder why the wig's sitting up you have to go through part flat iron high comb part flat iron high comb each section to make sure that everything is laid down Now that we're done with that, I can go ahead and just curl the bottom of my hair. I just like a little wave on the ends of my hair. Nothing special, so I'm gonna take my Marcel curling iron and just wrap it around or do, you know, the traditional way you're using Marcel curling iron. Whichever one you wanna do, it don't matter, okay? Just curl your hair. All right, so I know the girls in the tutorials that y'all watch love to take the lace off once they already have the wig glued on, but not over here. We not doing that. We not walking around with half an inch of lace up on our forehead. That's just not cool. And also, this is like a video for people who actually have wigs that's already been worn and they want to know how to reapply it. Therefore, we're going to take the lace off before we apply it. So y'all know how to put a wig on without the lace already on there. Who doing it, okay? Yeah, and then there go the curls. Get into it. All right, y'all. Look, it was hot, so I had my mini twist hairstyle going and i had low-key just did these so i was like nope i ain't finna take these down just to put no wig on who y'all think y'all is so to keep me from taking down all of my twists and ruining my hairstyle i'm just gonna take down the ones in the front do some roller coaster twists going to the back just to make sure that the top of my head is flat for this wig and you good to go so when you get hot and you want to do the little glueless method baby all you gotta do is pull that wig up you got you a good style i'm telling you all right, you all, so before I apply my wig, sometimes I do like to do the bio cap method. So I'm just gonna take some got to be glue. I put this on my hairline, take a comb, comb it back just to make sure that my baby hairs aren't poking out or anything. Like you really doing this to protect your edges. 
all right y'all so once you do have this stocking cap on you're gonna go ahead and take your got to be glue and apply this to your hairline just going down around your hairline doing a nice thin layers and then i'm gonna take my scissors and poke a hole right where my ear is and then i'm gonna open up the hole a little bit and pull my ear through now as you all see i didn't make the hole as big as my ear because you see how when you cut it how the stocking cap will run a little bit you don't want to cut the whole thing to make it run and just now your stocking cap is just told now you just messed up you know and once it's completely dry we are going to go ahead and take our scissors and cut off the excess um not cutting off the part where i have the glue because obviously we want that part glued down cut off the excess until it's really really laid and slayed and making you look bald head then we're going to take our bold hold and just apply this going down the stocking cap you guys doing nice thin layers letting it dry clear in between do another thin layer and i'm telling you all to make it thin because if you do it too thick then it's going to be lumpy which means your lace is going to appear lumpy and also if if it's not a thin layer it won't dry clear in between which means that when it's time for you to put on your wig it's gonna be super thick so this glue gonna be popping up through the holes of your wig and you just don't want that okay all right you guys so now it is finally time to glue this wig down now as you all see i did put this wig on from back to front but do not get it twisted i did not secure the comb that's in the back of this wig yet because i'm trying to pull and line this lace up with this glue so i don't need the back pulling it back while i'm trying to pull it forward to glue it down so i'm going to take the edge of this lace and i'm going to line it up perfectly with my glue and as you all see i did apply the wig a little crooked so when i try to put down the right side of the lace um yeah it's gonna pull up this left side but don't worry i'm gonna show you all how to fix that but in the meantime i'm just gonna take some powder foundation and a nice thin brush and apply it down my part just to make the part pop just so we can very much give what we need to give and i do like to choose a foundation that matches my skin tone i don't like to go a shade lighter or darker just get something that actually match when I secured the right side of my wig, it did mess up the left side. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and take my alcohol just to remove all the excess glue for when I fix it later. But in the meantime, let's get these edges popping. So I'm just going to make a part, pull the hair down. I'm going to take Gorilla Snot, apply the Gorilla Snot to the part. This also helps to lay down your lace if you miss the spot. Brush them forward, place my finger, then take the brush and brush it downwards. And that's how I create my swoop. Once again, we're going to make a part, apply our Gorilla Snot brush backwards and brush forwards to get all of the hairs out of your way then you're going to cut your edge brush it down again place your finger right there take the brush pull the brush up towards like you know the rest of your hand that's how you know the direction you need to go and that's all you do to do a swoop your swoop is going to be like the width of your finger and it's extremely easy you guys okay so now for the part that you all see i took gorilla snot and i applied it right in front of my hairline then i took the hairs from the wig and i pushed them down on my head and i allowed it to dry because i couldn't get the lace to lay back down as you all see this is how i kind of disguised that the wig wasn't fitting okay and then i am going to go ahead and do my more edges using the same technique that I showed you all. As you all see, all you do is brush down, take your finger, and then brush it back towards the rest of the hair. That's all the edge is. And now for my little kiss curl, I make a part just right where my ear line up at. Then we're gonna brush those hairs down, cut it, and take a flat iron and curl it upwards. And then you're gonna get some holding spray and spray your edge brush. Just brush it down and let that curl do what it do. The hair already curled, just brush it down and swoop it over and that's it that's how you accomplish a kiss curl and to bring this look together even more i am going to go ahead and take a fluffy eyeshadow brush dip it into my powdered foundation and lightly apply it to my hairline because when i want my lace looking all light skin and i'm very much giving dark sexy chocolate y'all know the vibes and then i'm gonna take this nice edge band shell i ain't never had nothing like that done to me so i'm gonna take this edge band i'm gonna put it up on it to really help melt this lace into this scalp y'all okay and once you take it off there we have it folks this is how you apply your alley pearl wig baby yes sir ski so thank you once again to alley pearl for sponsoring this video all of the details will be down below in the description box for you all so yeah you guys that brings us to the end of this video please feel free to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down it does not matter just engage with me and leave all of your questions comments or concerns down below and we, we out of here